Hey, why is there a black suburban outside with a driver? My company sent it. I'm manning the Hilo Dynamics booth for the job recruitment fair at Caltech. Wow, look at you being chauffeured in a giant SUV. When I picture you driving, you're crying in a Prius. I do cry less when I'm driven. And that outfit is on point. Well, I mean, it's, it's sort of a triumphant return for me. I spent four years there in sweats with greasy hair, caring only about grades. The only time anyone ever noticed me was when I pulled out all my eyebrows during finals week. Now I have a big job, swanky apartment, shoes that cost more than my first laptop. Oh, it's like a rom-com. You left a nerd and returned a hot nerd. Oh, speaking of hot people, maybe I should go and recruit for NERP. For legal reasons, we need a sciencey person to endorse product. Considering we're all a bunch of people who didn't graduate college, we sell a lot of products that go inside of you. Yeah, no, it doesn't really work that way. A, you have to be invited, and B, no self-respecting scientist is going to endorse the nonsense your company is pushing. Excuse me, but our copper-infused toothpaste is on the FDA's top 10 items to watch, so. <laughs> Phil, Phil, can you come in here? I've worked up a little presentation for my Skype interview, and I would love to get your feedback. Yes, please. You've been such a cheerleader for me with all my magic shows and scarf dinners. I'd love to be yours. Hit it. I'm going to stop you right there. I've been out of work for a few months, and I've gotten kind of antsy to channel my anxiety. I have cleaned. I have organized, perhaps a bit obsessively. Doctors were consulted. One, a therapist, so not even a real doctor, but Meds were quickly dismissed. We didn't want the sexual side effects. Anyway, I am going to channel my anxiety into a career. I am interviewing for my dream job, senior VP of my favorite organizing chain store, Organizem. I'm so excited I could have an organizer. You're better than that. Hey, honey, uh, we need to talk to you about something. Sweetie, this is something pretty big, and I, I want you to brace yourself. The adoption agency called. I'm not going back. Do you know what happens to soft, entitled kids in Da Nang? No, 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 no. There's a baby boy. Oh, I think you should do it. Really, j just like that? Whatever stops you dropping by my sleepovers. You guys are way too focused on me. Plus, I think it'd be fun to have a baby brother. Oh. Although. Although what? Aren't you guys kind of old to be having a baby? I'm getting into the juicy part of my teen years. I don't want to have to take over for you. Okay, we are not that old. You're like 50. <gasps> my God, no. Daddy's 44 and I'm 48. You do realize when the baby's a senior in high school, you guys will be senior citizens? We will not be seniors. Cam. 66, I'll be 66. And I'll be 61. Well, 62. Not until June. <laughs>